Hey guys, it's Kirsten. So I am going to, uh, we're going to try to get rid of this person out of this. There's not a lot of background uh, to go by here, but this is what I'm going to, this is my plan of attack. I'm going to go ahead and click the object selection tool so I can tell Photoshop who I want to select. Okay, we're missing a couple toes here. So right click on the object select and quick select quick select make sure the plus sign is here and we're gonna just kind of get a couple of the spots that we missed I don't know if it'll really matter but we want her foot here okay that looks good then we are gonna go to select modify expand and let's try seven pixels and then hit OK. And I'm just guessing by seven. I'm just totally guessing. Then, or trial and error, I should say. Then we're going to go to Edit and Content Aware Fill, which is the new Content Aware Fill, not the old one. We want the new one, which is over in this menu. OK, so that did a pretty good job. Um, I am just going to, with the minus sign, make sure we select this kid in the hand because we don't want it picking up anything from these people. Okay. I feel like this might be close enough. And then let's go ahead and hit OK. Uh, I think it's Control D, deselects. Okay. Um, okay, it's definitely not perfect, but I'm going to just go ahead and leave it, and I'm actually going to flatten it. I tried to not flatten it before, and it said it, it wanted to be flattened. Okay, so we're going to do a couple things here. I hate cloning, because I feel like you can really, I don't know, you can tell with cloning. So I think I'm, what I'm going to do is select the lasso, and I'm going to just flip this little bush over. So we're going to select Inside the marching ants, we're going to go layer via copy. And then we're going to go to edit, transform, and flip horizontal. Click on the move tool. And we're going to place it right about there so the shadow looks like it's, you know, it's good. Then we're going to click on the layer of the um, little grass layer, right? We're going to hold the Alt key down and click on a layer mask. That makes it an invisible, I mean, not invisible, but you know, it's hidden. Then we're going to get a white brush and we're going to just paint away, make it small. We're going to paint away that patch of blurry. Oh my gosh, 100% opacity. Hang on, there we go. And let's just look before and after. And then you can kind of go back and forth between painting it on, painting it off. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay, so let's, I'm just gonna go ahead and flatten it once I know I'm not going back. Okay, uh, let's get the clone again. I'm gonna hit Control J, I'm gonna work on a duplicate layer here for a little bit. Now, I'm gonna make this really, actually, you know what I might do is get the spot healing tool and there's one little line here from the disaster of what I did before. Okay. That might be good enough. Okay, I'm gonna flatten that. So this mess right here, I'm trying to decide how I wanna tackle that. I might try getting the lasso Then hit backspace, content aware. This is the old content aware, but let's just see what that does. You know what? That looks okay to me. <laughs> I will take it. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and crop it. So first of all, this is super cute, and I always do a 15 by 11 ratio. So if this were me, 
well, if this were you, because I don't know what you want, I would probably crop it like this. We're still not done fixing this, but for now, um, there's, there's this, okay? However, I think what I would do if I was, if this were me on the side, <laughs> I think I would crop it like this because it just is very, it's very touching him holding mommy's hand or whatnot. So I think I would do a crop like this and then um, get the crop on normal mode. Not the crop, I meant, whatever you call it, clone. And then just zap it like this. Um, however, I don't know what you or mom wants, so we're going to go back and leave it like this. Okay, so I'm going to do Control J to work on another layer just while I kind of experiment. And I haven't seen this yet. I'm just kind of winging it here with you all. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Filter and then Liquify. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I know he has a little diaper bum, it looks like, but um, I'm just going to kind of polish this up a little tiny bit. Whoops, I use the bracket keys to make my brush bigger and smaller. So I'm just gonna push in. I want it to still look like he's wearing a diaper, but not so crazy as before. Um, and then you can make it really little and push in just the little bumps of her pants. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, really, I'm kind of reaching here, but um, that's fine. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the freeze mask tool and I'm just gonna go ahead and freeze him so nothing changes on him if I accidentally do something. Okay, so then I'm gonna go up to the forward warp tool and I'm gonna make a very big brush and I'm gonna kind of just, well, first round, I gotta, this has been bothering me. I meant, I meant to even out the horizon line a little bit. Make sure that's all. I like even horizon lines. Okay, and then I'm gonna make this a little bigger and I'm gonna kind of just push this around a little bit. Um, I don't wanna go totally crazy, to be honest with you. Um, but since it's a reflection, we can kind of make it look um, like a reflection. Okay, there's something wonky right here by the head. So I'm gonna get the clone. Just get rid of that dark spot right there. Okay. So the next thing we can do is, let's see, filter, blur, oh, let's see, we can always try the Gaussian. So we can hit okay. And then same thing, hit alt and get a layer mask and a white brush. Just kind of blur it a little bit. What, what we had done um, in liquify. Then we can go ahead and flatten. So even this mess up here, um, I would still, let's go crop. If she wanted it horizontal and wanted to be in it, I feel like we don't need both legs. We could just get one leg to get the idea of it. And maybe even down like this. Okay. 
So there's that. I'm going to try on a duplicate layer, control J. I feel like, well, I guess I need a smaller. I'm gonna get a 40% like a opacity. Like I'm just going to very lightly because it's hard to tell really what is going on here. Um, at this point, it's hard to tell if that's like a building or water or whatever, but I think it's pretty cute. But hopefully, there's a couple techniques here um, that you learned. Um, to, to just as far as removing a person goes, um, I would probably redo the horizon line. Liquify one more time. Oh, because we put a layer and inversed it and got rid of what we did. Okay, so that's what I would do. And that looks good. That looks good. Oh, and I accidentally undid his little diaper bum. My bad. That's all right. I just put the layer, the mask on the wrong layer, but no big deal. There we go. Cute, cute. Okay. All right. Well, maybe that helped a little. Who knows?